good, it's your boy Wade Banner, got me in charge, party boys, already know I'm out here with the whole girl Damo, big shouts, BZ, have a big... How long have you been doing hair, Candy? About two years. Two years? What you enjoy about it the most? Um, the satisfaction. I love when I'm done, that's satisfied. That's the most thing I love, so it makes me keep going. The name of the show is called Estate. Basically what I wanted to do was I wanted to combine all the elements that I love, um, fashion, art, music, and sneaker culture. So it's just a, it's a place where all these elements live in this grand estate. So I mean, we've been here for about six months now, you know, getting attention. Uh, find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Estate, Raleigh. Um, these are all the names on Twitter. I mean, it's a, it's a really dope experience. You know, we have first Friday parties. Um, so it's just a really cool way to place to come, you know, get fly, get right. Enjoy, network, socialize. I wanted to get that gold, but he sold out the gold hat. I wanted to go. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Heather Victoria, Jamla Records representative, and we're holding it down here at the Estate Boutique in Raleigh, North Carolina. And you're in the know with Dama. You're in the know featuring Heather Victoria of Jamla Records. That's her on. So, Heather B, tell us what, what you got going on. How did you get your start in music? Um, I got my start in a way uh, working at home with the producers at home. What's home? Uh, well, I have two homes. I have to rep. Oh, so you're supposed to tell us in the know what's going on. <laughs> tell us more about you. What's home? It's a long story. Fayetteville. And yeah, also, two five two. By the way, oh, okay. So she shot nine one out. And two five two. Hold it down. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So 2008, um, that's when I realized that I wanted to do this and make it a career. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what's your creative process like? Like. Are you more on getting in the studio and you can just sing a song or do you have to like have a thought going on? Is it based off of life experiences? Tell me what's what's it like to be in the studio with other people? Um, in the studio, I'm relaxed, I'm writing, listening to beats, um, and just putting the song together is just whatever comes to you in the moment, um, whatever you think about, whatever you're influenced by at that time. Okay. Different things. Okay. So you've had a lot of success, one of which being the fact that you were able to be in the studio with David Banner and you was able to be on the Monique show as well and perform the song. Tell me how that process was like. What happened? How did they even come about? How were you able to just be with David Banner? Um, well, at that time, David Banner was working with like, um, on a project that it put out called The Death of a So let's double back a little bit. For those who don't know, when I said she's a Jamla record artist, that means she's a part of Jamla Records. For those who don't know, tell me what Jamla Records is. Uh, Jamla Records is a independent music label uh, put together by Knife Wonder, um, the name Patrick Gallagher, um, Grammy Award winning producer, um, right, right on North Carolina, right here at RBD. Okay, we've been together now for four years. Okay, so doing good things for his pop music. Now some other success that you have had, you, know, you did a record with another Jamla Records artist by the name of Rexy, she's a part of the gospel, and you and her did a song with the Crit. How did that happen? It's called Get Her Life. What happened with that? Well, Big Crit was, um, he actually, I don't know if a lot of people know, he was watching the Super Bowl not too long after that. Did you see the, um, it was a Crown Royal commercial, so it was rapping, and yeah. the beat was actually nice. Really? Yeah. So that's 
That's what they say, so I just ran with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just ran with it. Okay. One song that I really, really like on Educated Hustle Volume 3 was I Need That. And in the song, you kind of stated like the type of female you're into. Yeah. What is it that we look for in the opposite set? Um, of course you gotta have it. Hair did, nails done, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I own bread, but nah, I ain't really too fussy like that. She just gotta be smart, you know, have a good conversation. You know what I'm saying? Looks don't last forever, but if you can hold yourself together, that's a plus too, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's really where it came from. Just um, a shout out to those women who doing their thing, you know. A lot of women out here struggle. I like the women who's doing their thing, working hard to do their thing, at least trying to get there. If you just sitting at home watching us, well, I, mean, well, I want you to be watching us, but I mean, you get what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah. Okay, so what's next for me? Any shows? What's going on? Uh, I got some May 7th. Uh, a show is May 7th. It's not that good. Um, really, we just put together a promo for um, the mixtape. Um, I might got another one of Life Kid. Okay. I got to find out more information about it. But just stay tuned with me. You know, I'll put everything out there on Twitter. Uh, Instagram BZ underscore TX Finest, you know, I'll let you know everything. Okay, one other thing before, you know, we close it out. Tell me exactly what your experience was like at South by Southwest. I know you were able to experience that and a lot of artists are not able to go out and have that opportunity. So tell me what it was like out there. What was going on in Texas? Like? Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I don't even, it's, it's just so much was happening. I got to meet a lot of big artists, a lot of un, up and coming artists, um, underground artists who are just working really hard. You know, and it's just good to see a lot of people in the same plot, same place working towards the same goal with a lot of support. Um, that's what you need in the industry is a lot of support so you get a lot of networking. Um, I met some big names, what, T.I., Smoothie, Craig. Uh, went to an ill Kendrick Lamar show, had that boy Bun B out there salute. One of the illest, greatest, you know what I'm talking about, performances I've ever seen in my life. That boy Bun B be holding it down for Texas, man. For real, you know what I'm saying? Salute to that. But, um, you know, I just went out there and had a good time, man. Made the best of it. You know, networked with what I could. Got as much out as I can, man. Next time, I gotta be out there. Well, make sure that you keep it tuned in because we most definitely got more things with. The homie BZ, you So you're in the know with me. Who else? Your girl Donald. And I gave you all you need to know featuring BZ Texas Finest and my boo Jamba Records artist, Heather Victoria. I gave you all you need to know about them separately, but now the two came together recently for 24-7 The Educated Hustle Volume 3, featured on his album for a song called Make These Moments Last. The two came together and did an awesome song. It's hitting the streets, it's blowing people. Everybody's just really excited about it. But I'm gonna give you all you need to know right now. So you guys, tell me what was it like in the studio coming up with the song? Like, where did it come from? Where did the idea come from? What's going on? Um, I was sitting on the song. I had a song with probably like the artist too. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was dead. I was sitting on it, it exactly what I wanted. Beautiful skies, beautiful water. It was just so much fun. Like the whole time. I mean, 
never been to Miami. I've never been to Miami. You know, it's just beautiful. The ocean is beautiful. Um, the weather is awesome. You know, most videographers, they might just throw you in front of the camera. You, you got to sit down and come up with things that you wanted to do, or was it just like, yo, we're going to get it done? First, you know, shout out to BLB, you know what I'm saying? Right, big shout out to you, you should great work. Man with the can, but um, yeah, we both very artistic, you know, so, um, this is my fifth video, no more video. Um, we, we, a lot of times we collaborate with our ideas before we actually get there. Okay. You know, um, plus with this video, it seems like actually working with another artist, uh, a more major artist in Miami, and we performed, so we kind of got kind of lucky. We got to scope us out a little bit, scope us out a little plan, but, um, you know, we just let our artistic minds come together. Yeah, I love it too. I'm about to say, y'all keep dropping little pictures and stuff on Instagram. Yeah, promo. Y'all got us real hype about it. Now everybody asking in the streets what make these moments last. Y'all drop. Even way better was in here. He was like, yo, I like that jam. Like, uh, it was something so so Right. Okay. One other question that I got for you guys: Can we see another collab? You know, everybody got to okay. start from somewhere. Why not? <laughs> Nigga shit, the Lord that I adore. Blessed be the one who can get it from the source. Started off short, young nigga off the porch. Now I know a few niggas go and get it off the porch.